All right, let's help people get off of MySQL or MariaDB in this week's Ham Radio Deluxe video newsletter. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Ham Radio Deluxe. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, well, as we roll out version 6.9, it's time to talk about getting off of MariaDB or MySQL, or MS SQL for that point. Um, let's talk about the history of things here. One of the reasons why we're moving away from Access is because there are conflicts with Microsoft's distribution of um, the 64-bit version of Microsoft Office, which includes Access, as well as the 32-bit version of Runtime, which is what we used. And uh, so that causes problems because when Microsoft does updates, it's giving people fits. Um, if they're using the 64-bit version of Office, you can't load the Access 32-bit Runtime. And so uh, the fixer, the solution for that, is to move away from access. Before the 6.9 release, the options for doing that was to move to MariaDB or MySQL or Microsoft SQL. Um, I was recommending at the time that people move to MariaDB and I spent a lot of time uh, teaching people how to do that, recording videos on it. Um, you know, some of the support techs on our team were helping people get onto MariaDB because there was no other way to use the software. Today, though, we have a path to get away from Access without moving to MariaDB or MySQL, and it's a very solid path. And so today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do that with the 6.9 installer. So right now, I happen to have the version 6.8 um, application running here. You can see it's version 6.8. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make sure we've got a good backup. So I'm going to click the backup. And um, in this example, I am using Access. And I didn't want to take the time of installing MySQL on here, but it really doesn't matter. The steps are going to be the same. So I created a backup. And then I'm going to quit the, pro quit the program. And then I'm going to install 6.9. And it installs pretty much as you might expect. Same process. Okay, so when you get to this point, what we're going to do is unselect the database wizard. And we're just going to let uh, let it let it proceed without running the wizard. This will create an empty database, and we're going to see that it's it's active. But we're going to create an empty database. I'm just going to pick the demo radio just to get moving, and I'll launch logbook. And here we have it. We have uh, logbook running without um, without you know, any log entries in there. It's running SQLite. So we're going to now restore the database. We'll go to Backups, Restore. We'll select that database that we used a moment ago. And we're going to restore it. And we're done. That's all there is to it. So um, the database now is fast. And it's going to be now highly supported. So, you know, you may have some complications. We're going to fully support MySQL and, and MariaDB. Um, I recommend it for more for clubs or multi-multi stations. Um, it's a good way to share a database with other stations, uh, other PCs connected on the same network. But most people don't need that. 
So this is the way, and, and I, as I said initially, um, with access in this example, but using the same steps, if you're on MySQL or MariaDB or MS SQL, make a backup of your database or a backup of your log is what you're doing, making a backup of your log using the backup utility, shutting down 6.8, running the 6.9 installer, don't run the wizard, and then let it fire up with an empty database, restore your log, and you're good to go. So that's it for uh, getting off of MariaDB or MySQL. Highly recommend it. And um, that's it for today's update. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo 73.